guys it's Kane here welcome to the channel in this video I'm gonna show you how you can add dynamic features to your items uh, using a data grid wheel so basically in a previous exercise we were able to uh, get the IDs name and surname and uh, the components uh, from the data grid wheel and we were able to add new records delete them and also update them now I'm going to show you how you can create uh, dynamic pictures for each one of these items. So whenever you run your program, you will see that there is no default picture, but when you select the person on the list, you can dynamically show their pictures. To do this, the first thing you should do is to go to the uh, Solution Explorer and find the location of your folder the location where the project is saved you can right click and go to open folder in file explorer now this is where all of your files are listed whenever you run a program the place that the files are uh, basically executing is under bin and debug so if you go to that directory you will see that there is the grid view example there which is the one that we are running so in order to create a pictures folder I was just using back 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 again and one more back as well and then using that I created a pictures folder and then put everything inside so all of these pictures are actually in my grid examples and there is a pictures folder inside I put all these four pictures so by doing so, I created a picture box from the uh, panel, from the toolbar. You can find the picture box there and then install the picture itself. You can use an image property to put the pictures. All you have to do is to put an image and then underneath where you load the form, you can put the image of the first one, which is zero. Now zero means I have no pictures yet, so I haven't actually created any pictures, so I put zero dot jpeg as the default picture, and then assign this into my picture box, which means that whenever I run the program, you see the default picture is being displayed. Now how do you change it then? You need to go to cell click the functionality called cell click will allow us to select the uh, ID of a person and assign it now we know that every entry in the data uh, grid is actually uh, uh, identified by the ID because every person if they are if it is a different person should have a different ID using that logic I first created an image directory you can see it from there so back 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 again under pictures and I selected the ID which I already did in here anyway to get the text ID uh, text and then put the JPEG at the end so basically I am naming each and every one of these pictures uh, cor with corresponding uh, their IDs so if I am the first guy on the list, my picture is 1.jpg, the second person 2, the third person 3 and so forth. So that I can find a person's picture just by looking at their ID and adding jpeg at the end. So I put a try and catch statement here and said that if you find the directory there, which is I already written down here, put that image into the picture box if you cannot which is going to return you an empty value if it cannot then it will actually put the default image in this case 0.jpg you can also show an alternative uh, message as no picture just to show that that person doesn't have a picture that's it that's all you have to do now if we run this thing you will see that I have pictures but if I actually go there and add a new value let's say test and test on the table and if we go there this person doesn't have a picture and the no picture message is also displayed 
you can add more pictures dynamically should you want to so in this case if I have a test picture and I want to carry it to the folder I can just drag and drop this here now I have four picture for jpeg now if I go back and go to the directory it immediately reflects that now that the picture is being used it can show it instantly there's a problem however that in the runtime you might not be able to carry this back because it is currently being used it is being used by the program so you will not be able to remove the pictures as long as the program runs however you can always close the program and move the pictures around now so if I move it back I can move it back now so that's it just to repeat it one more time create an image object in here I just call it IMG and I assign the default image under my pictures folder I did three backs because basically when you open the folder from here everything runs inside bin and debug so you can also create your pictures here but I prefer to do them in this directory which is more visible to me at the end of today it's up to you where you create them once you have created the pictures I initialize the default one which is the zero to the picture box itself and when the click action happened which is the uh, cell click for the data grid view I assign an image directory based on the ID of the person so for the first person this is 1.jpg the second one 2.jpg and so forth if it finds the picture it will show it if it doesn't which will fall into the catch category it will show a message no picture let's just remove this one and it will just show the default image so if you run the application one more time you will see that you can add a new value and there is no picture you can keep adding should you want to and it won't have any pictures only these three people have pictures right now so that's it that's the dynamic picture so by reaching uh, to this uh, data grid exercise to the end of this data grid exercise I think I pretty much covered uh, most of what I wanted to show uh, so you guys take care I'll see you in the channel again enjoy